Uh, what's the response that you've got from your fans, you know, from emails, letters? What's the kind of response that you've been getting to from this? To put it in one line, make her is magic. <laughs> <laughs> and that feels really, really nice. Mm. That feels really nice. I mean, that was as recent as yesterday. I mean, it was so sweet. There was this huge book and I was like, birthday has gone by. I mean, what's this all about? <laughs> and suddenly there was this huge bouquet and this little note that said, just said, make her is magic, which I thought was really beautiful. And um, it feels really, really nice. Mm. Uh, you know, another scene which I loved, where surprisingly you were not there, but your presence was there, you know, when he says, Happy Valentine's Day, Megha. Mm. You know, and there, you know, Megha was so much alive in spirit. You know, she wasn't there. She does, you know, like she doesn't come in and throw color on his face like holy. But still you felt her. You know, you still felt her. You know, and it was everything. It was, you know, the way... And, you know, what I also felt was that everything that you did in this film as an actress, you know, like even your voice, the way you dubbed the film, mm -hmm. it was slightly different. It wasn't <laughs> a normal Aishwarya Rai voice. Yes, you know? yes. Because I think we all recognize that these little, little things mm -hmm. is all that we'd have to to give it that extra something because um, that's what would help keep create Megha and then keep her alive because even though she's a spirit you really feel her spirit through the film she was very alive Th this was Adi's um, these were Adi's words I mean he just kept saying, saying she's very alive without now at one point even initially when I must confess when Adi narrated I thought the few moments she'd be there, she'd have to be this live wire. I mean, we, we almost even discussed it where we said, so is it that every time she's, she's there on screen, she has to be this, you know, uh, uh, overtly alive in body language, mm. in, you know, like say, in your face kind of yeah, or, or be as the daughter play this, play this daughter, you know, who's mm. always screaming, talking loud, fooling around. Da, da, da. Huh. So there was almost that which we initially discussed. We said, is this who Mega would be? Like very jhalli, the way she dressed and the way she'd be. And so you like really overtly feel her presence. Mm. And yet, when we eventually got down to doing it, this is the way Adi saw Mega, and I, and I completely agreed. And I thought it was very interesting for a director to do that, to play her subtle, to play her real, to play the sentiments for what they were. And... Um, I must uh, also confess that there was a time when I wondered whether it would make enough of an impact. Sometimes, you know, you sort of think that because you've played her so normal, would that be, would that strike a chord deep enough, you know? Mm. And yet, here, people have come about, come about saying, make her so alive, mm. which I think is, is thumbs up to Adi. Mm. And you were quite the surprise package in Mahabhati because you were kept out of the publicity, out of the, uh, out of the TV promos, out of the, po you know, the posters, the hoardings. There was no mention of Aishwarya Rai. <laughs> the press ads didn't say, you know, starring Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, six newcomers, but no Aishwarya Rai. And when you came on, like when I saw the film in the theatre, I heard this buzz of Aishwarya <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, how did you react to that? You know, that you were being kept out of the publicity at the beginning. From the onset, I, mm. I knew it from the onset. It was agreed to, right? From the onset, it was mutually. In fact, we all uh, we all agreed and wanted it this way. In fact, because um, that's the only way it would work. I mean, we all recognize this right from the onset. That's what I mean. I mean, I don't work in a conventional manner. I don't. <laughs> I don't work in uh, what what are the right moves in in this place. I mean, I. It wasn't that, oh, I'm part of a Yash Raj film and I'm part of Adi Chopra's next. It's not that. I mean, Megha's a lovely character. Mohabate sounded like a beautiful film to be a part of. And I recognized completely that um, it would work for the film, for our characters, if uh, Aishwarya Rai was not used in the publicity. I mean, I thought we all knew that that would mean diffusing Megha somewhere. Mm. And uh, people might have come to watch an altogether different movie. And then it might have cheated the audience a bit, you know. I mean, they might have come looking for a completely different kind of commercial love story, maybe. And uh, so I think this was well thought of right from the beginning. And uh, the sentiment, I think, only grew far stronger. The conviction grew stronger pre-release uh, of the film. And uh, they, in fact, pre-release itself, they told me that uh, if at all, Mega would be introduced in the publicity as an Aishwarya would be used in the publicity <laughs> post the release, post if at all, release. once the audience was acquainted with Mega, mm. and who was meant to appear in the film so much later. So that's really the way they kept it. And uh, I'm glad they're, what, what they preempted, they've been able to realize. They were able to 
have the audience believe what they believed in? You know, and, and although it's a very typical question, but you know, working with someone like Mr. Bachchan is always a different experience. Yeah. You know, because he's a legend. He's Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah. You know, how was it for you? Because this was uh, the first time you were working with him. And in what better manner? I mean, what better could I ask? <laughs> yeah. I think it was beautiful playing this uh, this this father daughter relationship. Was um, I, I loved working with him, and uh, I'm honoured I got the opportunity <laughs> to work with him in such a beautiful movie in such a special relationship uh, essay. I mean, it was it was a very nice experience. I truly treasure it. You know, in every actor's life, there are certain films that become landmark films in their career, you know, like you've got Hamdil Dechi Ke Sanam, Taal, Mohabbat Deh, you know, how, but personally, you know, how precious is Mohabbat Deh to you? Extremely. I mean, um, I'm not saying this because I'm here sitting on, you know, talking <laughs> about Mohabbat Deh, but um, all, all movies and roles are special because you, you particularly think mm -hmm. that each one would be different in its own way. There is, um, I mean, even Iruva remains special because those characters are, are so different. Kandukonde. Then there is Josh, there is Hamdil, there is Tal, there is Mohabate. Like I said, there was a certain degree of um, belief in the character that I played. I'll not get to play someone like Megha again and the way she is conveyed. It remains special. This kind of a father-daughter relationship which is so specific in terms of the amount you got to portray and yet so deep. This kind of a love story which is not conveyed in the conventional manner mm -hmm. and yet it's so deep. I, you, you don't get to play these characters and uh, as an artist who's, I still feel so new every day <laughs> and who's still growing and discovering, I think it's interesting to get the opportunity to play different characters within the parameters of what's offered. Okay.